It's Friday, June the 25th. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 20 through 26. Here is the word of the Lord. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you loved me before creation of the world. Righteous Father, Though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them, and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them, and that I myself may be in them. And that is the word of the Lord. The title of the article today, Unity brings peace by carolyn parsons a mother watched her husband and son playing a video game they were on opposite teams and trying to outscore the other as the games went on their smack talk and insults to each other were escalating they were getting angry they when the game was over they were upset with each other and in a foul mood <clears throat> excuse me it wasn't pleasant to live with either one of them at that moment. Later, the mother noticed a change. The father and the son had decided to be on the same team instead of playing against each other. Their skills and effort were now joined in a common purpose instead of fighting each other. The change in attitude was remarkably better. What was the difference? Unity. Instead of fighting against each other, they work together for the common goal and the results are much better. Jesus desired that the faithful would not fight against each other, but come together in unity. Not only with each other, but also with God. In unity, there is peace. What greater good can be accomplished when we seek peace with God and with each other to work for a common goal? And the hymn is entitled, Let Us Break Bed Together, and it's an Afro-American spiritual. Let us pray God, praise God together on our knees. And from the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 17, Let the one who is thirsty come, and let the one who wishes take the free gift of the water of life. And this is your daily devotion for Friday, June the 25th. Have a blessed day.